Mrs. S.E. Stander, Program Office Administration, Subject Office Data Processing, Level 3, Topic to be covered, Topic 3, File Management, Reference Material, Office Data Processing for MS Office 2010, Level 3, page 68 to 88, the resources required by a student, the textbook or a computer and a computer. Module 5, Unit 5.3, Open and Empty the Recycle Bin. The recycle bin. When you no longer need files, you can remove them by sending them to the recycle bin. Every file or folder that you delete on your computer will automatically go to the recycle bin. It's a default setting in Windows. This means that whatever you delete, it automatically goes there. This also means that you have, if you have accidentally deleted a file, you can find it in the recycle bin. If you deleted a file, and you realize that you still need it, you can always go back to the recycle bin and go fetch it or restore it there. The recycle bin holds the files until you wish to delete them completely. To remove files from your computer permanently, you need to delete them from the recycle bin. You can delete individual files, single files from the recycle bin, or you can empty the entire recycle bin at once. How to open and empty the recycle bin. To open the recycle bin, you double click on the recycle bin icon. There will always be a recycle bin icon on your desktop. So you double click on the recycle bin icon and then your recycle bin will open up with all the files that you have deleted will appear in there. If you want to delete just a single file from your recycle bin, you can select the file by clicking on it, and then you can just press delete on your keyboard. This little dialog box will always come up. Are you sure you want to permanently delete this folder? If you delete something from the recycle bin, it is permanently deleted from your computer. That's why you will always get a little message for you to read and make sure, is this what I want to do? If you are sure that you want to delete the folder, you just click on yes, and the folder will be deleted. So if you want to delete single files, you can just select the file, press delete on your keyboard, and it will give you that little message if you are sure that you want to permanently delete it, and you can click on yes. If you want to empty like you can see, my recycle bin is full of documents. It's going to take a while if you delete them one by one. If you want to delete everything in the recycle bin, you can just right click on the recycle bin icon. And there you'll see it says empty recycle bin. As soon as you click on empty recycle bin, once again, you will get a message. Are you sure you want to permanently delete 32 items or how many items ever there is in your recycle bin? And you can just click on yes, or if you are not sure, you can click on no. So I open my recycle bin by double clicking on it. I can select a file which I want to delete by clicking. Press delete on your keyboard. Are you sure? Yes. Or I can empty the whole recycle bin by right-clicking on the recycle bin icon, empty recycle bin, and then if I'm sure that I want to delete all the items in my recycle bin, I can just click on yes.